I served in the United States Marine Corps for uh, six years. Uh, within that time, I deployed a total of four times, two times to Iraq, two times to Afghanistan. I served in an infantry unit. My entire life, I was uh, diagnosed with anxiety issues, depression. I tried committing suicide when I was 12 years old. And joining the military was my way of exploring myself. They had me taking Vesterol as well as uh, Remeron, which was a, uh, a very, really powerful uh, sleep medication. I noticed it helped to a certain extent, but it felt more like a bandage that kept on growing tighter and tighter and tighter. I didn't have the release and the relief that I was seeking. And I noticed uh, I started sleeping less, like dramatically less. I was get, going from a strict eight hours a night to about two to three. And waking up as if I was on autopilot, I would have days where I would feel like Superman and then days where I would feel like the lowest piece of garbage on the floor. And it stayed that way for the next six years. You, know, you don't realize how much it affects you until you actually come home and you have time to ruminate on what you've done. I had a final suicide attempt and this was right before I got out. I remember feeling really depressed. I had taken my medication. I just came from therapy but I didn't feel congruent with the society I was re-entering. And it was the worst pain in the world. I started doing research um, and through a friend that I met, the device, uh, he mentioned how effective it was, uh, the research that backed it. I placed it on, I uh, laid down, and all I remember was waking up three hours later. I didn't even realize how I fell asleep. It, it was the first time I've ever experienced something like that. Even with the sleeping medication, it kind of feels like you're being forced to sleep. This was, it was organic. It felt much more natural. And it, when I woke up, I just had bounds of energy. The quality of my life ever since that point two years ago has been dramatic. I never felt depressed or, or you know, I never experienced mood fluctuation, fluctuations that uh, I was uh, two years prior to that point. My focus has improved. I can think, I can speak, I can study, I can focus on people, I can engage in conversations with much, with much more clarity. Honestly, all I ever wanted my entire life, not even the military, was just to feel like a normal person. And that device reintroduced that feeling of normality to me. I'm Dr. Steve Zanakis. I'm a psychiatrist. And I'm a retired Army general, spent 28 years on active duty, have spent most of my career treating soldiers, veterans, and family members. Many of the soldiers and veterans that I see, as well as other patients, have multiple problems. One of the common problems that they have is sleep difficulties. They just can't get restful sleep. And if they can't get a restful sleep and feel good when they wake up in the morning, then often they just can't do what they need to do and manage their daily lives. And in fact, they can't even really get engaged in the other treatments that we're trying to give them. Now, how does this device come into play? Well, this is a device that has plenty of evidence that has been accumulated over 40 years of studies that it helps with sleep, and it helps with anxiety, and it helps with mood. And when it helps with all that, it helps also with thinking, with attention and concentration. We also have lots of evidence that says it does very little, if any, harm at all. So now, why not make it available to a patient who comes in and says, Doc, I'm having trouble. So I, I prescribe this device as an adjunctive uh, treatment, um, unless the, and say, let's continue with the the medications that have already been prescribed to you unless you really feel there's a problem with them and you want to get off of them right now. But let's make one change at a time. To start off, it's a real good idea to use the device twice a day. And we'll see an effect within days, maybe a week, maybe 10 days. And then we can go for four to six weeks and then we'll taper down to once a day and then usually at least three to five times a week. Many patients are using the device for years. I think we need to recognize that many of our soldiers and veterans live in communities and rural areas and uh, outlying uh, areas of our country where uh, a lot of medical services, not just mental health services, but a lot of medical services are not available. And they need to be able to do things there to help themselves these kinds of devices help them do that. 
One, because they can do it in the privacy of their own home. They can do it when it's convenient for them. Uh, it does. It can be monitored virtually when, if it need, you know, as as needed, uh, and uh, it's easy for them to use. So I'm a strong proponent of uh, making these devices widely available.